PM Narendra Modi started the special discussion in Lok Sabha on the 75th anniversary of the Quit India movement. PM said that poverty, lack of education, malnutrition are big challenges for our nation. PM Modi said that clarion call today is karenge or karke rahenge. On 75th anniversary of Quit India movement, PM said that five years from 2017 to 2022 are about sankalp Siddhi. Remembering the Quit India movement gives us strength as a nation. He also asked the nation to take inspiration from the events that unfolded between 1942 and 1947. Five, we need to create the same spirit that existed from 1942 to 1947. Just he said that there is need to change the mindset so that society can be transformed. our development journey and it is the need of the hour that we give the country an honest and transparent government. During freedom struggle of our country, Chairman of Rajya Sabha, Hamid Ansari, called for reaffirming commitment to uphold the sovereignty and integrity of the country. Full tribute to the freedom fighters in Rajya Sabha, he said that security forces are capable of keeping borders safe, however, terrorism is a big challenge. From 2017 to 2022, both Houses of Parliament hold special sitting on the occasion. All officers and staff of DD News also took a pledge to build a new India by 2022 in the newsroom. In information and broadcasting, Smriti Irani and senior Congress leader Ahmad Patel have won the Rajya Sabha elections from Gujarat. Amit Shah received 46 votes. Smriti Irani also secured 46 votes, while Ahmad Patel got 44 votes. Minister Professor Sanbar Lal Jatt passed away in New Delhi today. He was 62. PM Modi condoled the demise of the former union minister and said that this is a big loss for BJP and the nation. <music> Sustainable action for transforming human capital, South initiative to handhold them to transform their health sector. The IOG has also selected Madhya Pradesh, Jharkhand, Urissa under its South initiative to transform their education sector. The <music> Council Taking the number of party MLCs who have quit recently to four, three of SP's MLCs who have resigned have already joined BJP. Chief Justice of India, 63-year-old Mishra will take over from incumbent J.S. Khehar, who will retire on August 27th. In an earthquake in China last night, a seven-magnitude earthquake jolted a remote but popular tourist destination in China's southwest in which 100 people are feared dead and thousands injured. The condition of 30 hospitalized injured was slated to be serious.